Hi everyone. Welcome back to my channel and part two of the 2016 tour. I promised I would show you my closets. Up there I have envelopes, storage, containers, plastic, little bags that I use to put my cards in, extra cards. Up there is all kinds of file folders, envelopes, things to make minis. I do store my Tim, to Tim Holtz dies in here. I know all the dies that I have. These are all my favorites. And I may de-stash a couple of them, but I doubt it because I love them. I store them on Ikea rods and baskets, which holds quite a few. I have a magnetic cube that I had about 10 of those. And those little containers, if you put too much in them, they just slide off. You'll come in and they're like all over your floor. I store my 8x8s. And 6x6 in here, I am trying to find a better solution, but as of right now, I have them in here. And that box is for unfinished projects. I have extra storage down here for things that I'm not using. Like if I run out of something, it's in these drawers. As you can see, there's all kinds of extra things in there. Down here, the same thing. Just extra supplies. And I love these little divided boss uh, drawers from uh, Michael's. I haven't seen them around for a while, but oh my gosh, those little... It just keeps everything organized so when you open up a drawer, it's not just jam-packed. It's nice and neat. And you say, oh, I need uh, a glue stick or I need uh, an anchor or whatever. You just come over here, open the drawer, there it is. All of these drawers are filled with different size envelopes that I do use. If I want a certain color, I know exactly what drawer. These drawers down here are a waste of money. They are so hard to open, except the top one, because there's no pressure on it. And I have my uh, delusions in there. But like these ones down here, they always get stuck. And I don't put anything in them that I care to even open. That has my St Tim Holtz tissue paper extra glue we all need extra glue extra Lindy's I have paintables extra distress inks paper for journaling a lot of people want to know and where you can get this a girlfriend and I went in 50-50 I think it was $130, and we had 300 rolls of this on eBay. But it was about six years ago, and I haven't checked. But that's the way to buy it. It is the real stuff. It loads. It works perfect. So anyways, if you want to try that, go on with a couple friends and buy the big thing. It'll last you forever. And then here I just have Stampin' Up! envelopes. <laughs> My large envelopes for the some of the minis that I make. I love making envelope minis. This is glue dots. And down here, embossing and chalk. Those papers back there are for this. Uh template studio it does a fabulous job but it is a learning curve and 
I wish more people would make videos because I really enjoy mine, but it took me forever to learn how to do it. Here's the other closet, and I have everything organized in these containers from Joann's. And hold on, I'll turn the light on. I did bring a few out so I could show you some of the idea. My Xyron, everything is lace and string and if I want something I just grab the container. It is easy to find. Here's my Lindy's, my paints. Down here is a whole row of things that I'm going to repurpose. I make into really cool gifts for my friends for Christmas and holidays and birthdays. That is just extra storage for my stamps. This is exactly what the labels say. I can open up those. Just leave me a comment if you want me to go through all of that. I do use Etcha. It is the best. If you want to know about etching, there is several people on YouTube that does a fabulous job. Just search etch all. Down here I have my binding system, grunge, paper bags. I like to put my stuff in paper bags when I hand it out to people. On the bottom shelf I have 12 by 24 paper and yes I use that a lot. And that is all extra vinyl pieces. I buy my rolls of vinyl at H&R Signs. If you buy $200, it's free shipping and they send immediately. And you can buy these large rolls of uh, 651, which is, in my opinion, the best vinyl to make projects inside or out. And they also have 631. And I have a roll of matte and a roll of high gloss in black and white because I use that the most. And then I'll, sometimes I do get people who ask me to make things and I like to have all the colors and I have all the reds in a roll, yellows in a roll, just whip that out and I don't buy anything but uh, Oracle 651 or 631. I do have some Prima and, or not Prima, um, Cricut. And I usually try to get the Easy Weed. I love that. And I will be getting a heat press May 1st. And I might do a video on that for you. And down there is just cords. And it does say string, but it is all projects to repurpose. This is how I store my chalk edgers. This is a super thin, that's what it's called. You can only get it on joannes.com, 40% off. I think it's $9. But look at how amazing. Who wouldn't want to use those? And I have another super thin with some markers and my memento. I love those too. But what's really cool about these containers, they're airtight. And I don't care when I open up one of those chalk edgers or my inkers or my markers, they're always juicy. And in here is the way I store my embossing folder, my embossing powder. I don't emboss that much. I'm not really into it, but if I want to do it, I have it. And in here, I just have colored pencils and I used these um, Stampin' Up containers that I had left over when I took my stamps out of them. I love them. Sorry about the noise. And then you can organize your lace in these thin ones. Like I do all the, the white because I do a lot of wedding cards and my favorite color is white, pink, and green. I hope you enjoyed my room. And if you have any questions, please 
post a message.